a single atom thick material that can withstand even the weight of a kitten. This two-dimensional material, consisting of oriented carbon atoms, has other extraordinary properties as well, as it conducts heat and electricity with exceptional efficiency and is nearly invisible for the naked eye. But can this one atom thick material also protect other materials against corrosion, making it the thinnest protective coating in the world? Hello, my name is Maido, and we material scientists in the Institute of Physics, University of Tartu, decided to find that out. For that purpose, we prepared a single layer of graphene on larger copper substrates, in a laboratory assembled CVD reactor. Before corrosion tests, we had to make sure that we actually have a single layer of graphene, that is free of defects. And for that purpose, we use different materials characterization methods, starting with Raman spectroscopy. Believing a graph is one thing, but actually seeing graphene is another. And for that purpose, we used a powerful scanning electron microscope that uses electrons instead of photons in order to visualize the invisible nanoscaled world. Knowing that we had prepared a high-quality graphene, the next step was to do chemical and electrochemical corrosion tests. After a short immersion in salt water, we took the coated substrates back to the scanning electron microscope in order to see what had happened. To our big surprise, the graphene coating had locally started to delaminate, and this could only mean one thing, the coating had failed. The large area graphene had small defects, allowing chloride ions to reach the metal substrate. As a result, corrosion products started building up under the graphene lifting the coating and exposing even more of the metal substrate that we wanted to protect. As if this wasn't enough, graphene also seemed to promote the corrosion because a galvanic couple was created where graphene was much more passive than the exposed copper in graphene's defects. Does this mean graphene cannot be used at all for corrosion prevention? After all, some defects will always remain in graphene, and graphene is more passive than any other metal known to mankind. Well, maybe not. You see, we scientists have an uncanny ability to see good, even in hopelessly bad situations. But uh, let's see how we can make this coating work. First, we would somehow need to fix these defects. That can be several microns wide, depending on the quality of the initial graphene. Second, the obtained coating should be chemically homogeneous, so no galvanic couples are created. Our group managed to do that by electrochemically depositing polypyrrole on CVD graphene. Due to the unique properties of graphene, the electrodeposition of the polymer occurred preferably on the edges of the graphene defects, sealing completely even the largest holes. This nanocomposite coating showed excellent corrosion resistance as the substrates performed well both in chemical and also electrochemical corrosion tests. If you want to know more about this research, then read our full paper in Synthetic Metals. My name is Maido and I thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and leave your comments below.